Hi, I'm John. And I'm Lou. And this is the CVE of the week. It's Monday, July 14th, and this is the IT SparkCast CVE of the week, where we pick a common vulnerability and exposure entry that you need to know about and how to mitigate ASAP. And oh boy, if you are a Ruckus customer, you want to pay attention. In Hit fact, us up, Lou. Oh my God. In fact, if you're connecting to a network that has Ruckus on it, you want to pay attention to this one. These are the kind of, of CVEs we need to bring to you and we hate to bring to you. Okay. So let me tell you what's going on. Via Security Week, and this came out, this was published on July 9th, critical flaws were discovered within Ruckus Wireless's management products. A total of nine vulnerabilities. All right, so this is not normally news for us. Usually you tend to get clusters of vulnerabilities. Uh, it was identified in Ruckus Virtual Smart Zone, uh, which is VSC, and Ruckus Network Director, which is R&D platforms, which manage large-scale wireless deployments. So the affected systems power our infrastructure for large networks. So these systems are designed for large-scale deployments. Think schools, think stadiums, um, large environments, up to 10,000 access points. Now for the fun part. This is something we hate. They found hard-coded secrets, right? Vendors do not hard code backward backdoor passwords. You would think that this would have been solved years ago, but no. And what do you get when you do this? The CVS score on this is 10, all right? This is your hair is on fire level of, oh no, all right? That's bad. Why? Hard-coded secrets are incredibly difficult to change in the systems. Usually you're talking about a complete swap out of firmware and you got to get on this now. But what makes this even more fun is that as of now, I have been unable to find a patch or even a response from Ruckus on this. So if you have these systems, uh, there's CVE 2025-44957. That's the one that will kill you. That is hard coded, but there's a bunch. Um, CVE 2025-44962 authenticated users can perform directory traversal and access sensitive files. There's another one, default RSA keys. The default RSA keys leaked out, guys. Default. You see default and hard coded is what's killing you. There is no fix right now. Unsanitized API parameters with remote code execution. This thing is absolutely horrible. The only thing you can do if you have these systems, number one, if you don't have this completely segmented, you need to get this off anything else in your network. Now, right now, stop watching this video, go over there, get this off your network. Two, you need to like watch your management systems like a hawk for any code changes. I'd be check summing this thing every 30 seconds. It's like, this is really, really bad. John, what's your take on this? So in general, unless it's Microsoft, we try not to totally bash a vendor. And I, overall, I've been a fan of Ruckus, especially before they went to uh, Bro Brocade and then Broadcom and got, then got spun off. But I got to wonder if being part of Comscope is part of this problem and that Comscope is not an enterprise IT vendor. And I mean, they, they sell cable modems and, you know, and devices like that. That's, this is not their bread and butter. They, I don't think, I'm guessing that they don't know how to respond to an enterprise IT, you know, 10 level severity threat. And so they're being quiet. The security, proper response to this is, we've got a problem, we're working on it. Here's here's their best recommendation. Even if it's not a great fix, this is, this is at least segmented off, do this, do this, do something. Don't be quiet. Be quiet is the worst possible response. That's, that is the, the scared child hiding in the closet because the boogeyman's out there response. And that is not the way an enterprise IT vendor should be responding. Seriously. Right. And, and maybe if you're at Ruckus, Comscope, whatever, you're in the company, you tried to get this out, you got shut down. You have to realize you've got to get this through to your upper management. Yeah. You cannot this, do this. Th this you is bad. Cannot. 
This is really bad news. So once again, you know, it's chain. These chains exploits can be chained. There's no patch available as of this time, and the potential impact total ownage. Yeah. And so we're going to let you go get to patching and or to, to segmenting off. Get out point. there right now, please. Go, go ahead and do it. So that is going to cover this episode. We couldn't do this podcast without listeners like you. We would have loved to hear what you think. Do you like it more when we do these types of CVEs or when we talk more about the security issues like we did last week with Ingram Micro? Uh, let us know what you think. Send email to feedback at itsparkcast.com. Hit us up on X at itsparkcast. If you're on YouTube, leave a message down below. We read every single piece of feedback and comment we get. We respond to most. If it's particularly insightful, we will read it out on our Friday News Bites segment. Make sure you hit like, subscribe, turn on notifications. That's going to make sure you never miss an episode when they drop. With that, from the world of enterprise IT, take care. Stay safe out there.